Hello everyone, it's Sunday and that means it's time to watch a weekly update of the world's most interesting urban news. This is the 8th episode and for some of the news in it I am once again very grateful to my subscribers so each of you can help me to make these episodes more diverse and interesting. The West Yorkshire Combined Authority has announced plans to create two tram lines to serve cities of Leeds and Bradford. This is especially good news for Leeds, which is considered the largest city in Western Europe without a mass public transportation system. Its population is about 800,000, but its public transport consists only of buses. Now it is proposed to build two lines. One is to run from St. James Hospital through the city centre to the White Rose Shopping Centre and the other one is to connect the centres of Leeds and Bradford. And in general the project is estimated to cost £2 billion. If the plans are approved, construction should begin in 2028 and will be financed by funds allocated to the region after the cancellation of Birmingham Manchester High Speed Rail service. That means the tram will be instead of high speed rail, so it's a good news with a of sad background. According to research comparing data from October 2022 and 2023, the number of cyclists on the streets of Paris has doubled. This is a result of intense cycling infrastructure development in the city, which began in 2015 after the election of Anne Hidalgo as a mayor. Thanks to this, the city streets are being transformed and are becoming much more comfortable and safe for pedestrians and cyclists. By 2026, the city should build another 100 180 kilometers of bike lanes and 130,000 bike parking spaces. This cyclist-centric approach is designed not only to reduce pollution associated with cars, but also to promote sustainable and healthy mobility alternatives for residents. Meanwhile, in the French city of Lyon, there are plans to build a new tram depot, according to the president of Greater Lyon, Bruno Bernard. The new depot should open in 2028 on the territory of the former Fagor factory. Apart from that, it is planned to lengthen the trams from 32 to 43 meters, just like in Le Mans, which I talked about in the previous video, purchase 35 new trams and upgrade the old ones. However, when we talk about the old trams, we mean these ones. Creating conditions for high-quality maintenance is just as important as construction of tracks and purchasing new trams, so Lyon is doing the right thing. Last Saturday, high-speed trains started operating on the Hokuriku Shinkansen line connecting Tokyo and Fukui Prefecture. And this is a great news for Fukui Prefecture, which is suffering from a declining population and is still recovering from the earthquake that struck on New Year's Day, because improved connection will help to revitalize the local economy and attract tourists. The new connection will reduce travel time to Tokyo by 30 minutes and allow people to get there without changing trains. The first plans for this line appeared in 1973. In 1997 was opened a connection to Nagano and in 2015 to Kanazawa. Construction of the newest section between Kanazawa and Tsuruga was difficult and during the process the project cost increased from 1.16 to 1.68 trillion yen. If I'm not confused with the number of zeros, this is about 11 billion US dollars at the current exchange rate. As I've already said, I really admire Japanese railway and maybe I should make a separate video about it. Meanwhile, Luxembourg is developing its tram network. The city council has allocated 135 million euros for the construction of several new sections with a total length of about 3 kilometers. Several other routes are also planned, one of which will be intercity. Good news from Seattle, USA. They have started work on the physical separation on the bike lane on 4th Avenue on a section of about 2 kilometers between Efferson Street in the south and up to Vine Street. Instead of road markings and bollards, the bike lane will now be separated from cars by concrete barriers 
which will make cyclists more protected. At the same time, the configuration of the bike lane itself will not change. There are also plans to update traffic lights, which will now have separate phases for cyclists moving straight ahead and for cars turning and crossing the bike lane. The creation of protected bike lanes is a part of the city's Vision Zero plan and the Center City Bike Network plan, which was developed with the involvement of residents. And finally, there is interesting news from Greece, where an abandoned airport near Athens is to be transformed into a coastal park designed by the Sasaki Architectural Bureau. The Alenican International Airport was closed in 2001, and since then the city authorities have been working to turn its 600-acre territory into a park. By the way, don't worry, Athens is not without an airport. The old one was closed precisely because a new and more modern one was launched at another location. The 1960s terminal hall, designed by Eros Harinen, will be preserved and adapted for events. The new park aims to help citizens to reconnect with the nature. After its implementation, the area of open space per capita in Athens will increase by 44%. The park is to be planted with 30,000 new trees of 86 different species and to solve the problem of water shortage, it is planned to use a pond that will accumulate water during the wet season. Concrete from the existing airport runways is planned to be reused throughout the park to tell the story of the site's past. In 2021, the Greek real estate company Lambda Development was officially awarded the contract engaging Sasaki and other architects in the design. Lambda estimates that the project will cost about 8 billion US dollars, including residential and commercial commercial developments surrounding the park. The first phase of the park, approximately 250 acres, including the Central Olympic Square, the city's tramline and the entire coastal line, is expected to be completed by the end of 2025 or early 2026. And that's all the news for this time. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos.